Aloha Beautiful Sunday morning here and super low tide is going down paradise for all the cars coming go a small beach to be on and a uh, little windy today but nice and soft wind So, another bonus day as I promised and today's topic is unconditional love and think about this how do you think unconditional love is connected to becoming more who you love think of a person who is loving unconditionally do you think it's easier for them to become more of who they love or more challenging most probably it's easier so of course it depends on a person but I always thought all this you know talk about unconditional love was like uh, stupid because who can really love unconditionally yeah maybe animals like cats and dogs you know but humans not possible we have egos we have conditioning we have expectations and uh, so on but until I moved to Hawaii where I started to experience aloha and maybe some of you have heard of this concept similar to Ubuntu and many other countries and tribes have it uh, as well which states not only when you say aloha good morning or hello to you and goodbye to you but also is saying you know I love you and not only I love you as you have to do this and be that way and then I will love you but actually I love you as you are with everything you have and everything you have not and if you need something I can be here for you to um, figure out what that something is so that you can have it and if I have it I can give it to you so you can have it and it doesn't matter your gender your um, age, your reoha is for me a representative to unconditional love meaning that you can just be who you are do what you love, be like what you love, even with all the challenges and also little weaknesses we all have and still be loved so and it's really cool once you really um, experience this like in your life as an experience not just like someone is talking about like unconditional love it's just it's an experience like you are fully loved as you are and to bring one example is uh, when we first um, arrived to our Airbnb accommodation at that time we didn't have Airbnb yet it was VRBO in Hawaii with my friends beautiful basket of freshly baked Hawaiian fruits waiting behind the door we had some other beautiful gifts waiting inside the house their own made coffee even and yeah, I hadn't really experienced much of that in my life, so I was just so blown away. But this was just one little thing. It's like, to the years coming after that, this family and I became really like real families, and I even called myself their adopted daughter, Hawaiian family. Whether it was my birthday where I was invited to really, you know, enjoy 
whether it was just staying there after my dad died um, as a guest, whether it was whatever I needed when I was on the island. They were there the volcano in uh, Iceland and we were stuck so we could stay as guests. So unbelievable stuff over the years. And they lived in a villa which was overlooking this beautiful, amazing um, Kalakikua Bay on the big island. And I remember the first morning we woke up and I saw the view. I had never seen or been in a villa like this before. Like really taking it all in. It was just like abundance with a big capital A. And it was expensive to stay there, but it was totally worth it, like, because you got aloha as a cherry on top. And then I had that experience one time, we were heading home to Estonia, and I had to, yeah, pack, and my Hawaiian dad came and made these carrots and ginger, and gave me some for the road to go and really saving it to the last and once I was boarding in New York um, I took a bite and I just had tears running down because I could feel that aloha it was just there every bite I took it was there his aloha his unconditional love it was just unbelievable. I had never experienced anything like this before. And yeah, you're talking about it now, picking me up. And my and mom and dad, like when I was looking at them, how they were with each other and how they were taking care of each other and nurturing each other and caring. I had never seen anything like this either. So I made a statement and the intention then. I said, I'm gonna find a man like that one day. And we are gonna build an empire together and we are gonna have our own villa. And this is my future. Because they showed me the aloha, unconditional love in life and it was so so beautiful because it wasn't just a picture in a magazine it was a real action I saw and I'm so glad I was guided to their vacation rental because that was changing point for me as well to many of my future Hawaiian retreats as I was testing out everything there. Um, so in the future years many times I just like booked um, their um, downstairs and sometimes when we had more people a whole villa which was expensive but it was as I said totally worth it and there's people were really struggling for money so I cut the costs and um, skipped out the villa experience and um, but I still wanted them to see what they missed so I organized oftentimes uh, for them to have a little meeting with my Hawaiian family or even a dinner or a visit or something and I just uh, showed up there with the group and I wanted them to see everything in the house there and see what they missed and they're like oh my god I would have really liked to be here even if it would have been like 100 euros extra a night or whatever but yeah too late you were entering the experience with the scarcity mindset so here you go so we stayed in a hotel which was cheap but yeah I mean it had a view but didn't have that so yeah so Unconditional love doesn't need to be just between uh, two people. It can be like in an experience like this. So 
so many ways we can experience this. So, but to activate the deep divine feminine, so what else unconditional love is doing? It encompasses compassion, empathy, nurturing, and acceptance without judgment. Unconditional love is the foundation of the divine feminine, fostering healing, connection, transformation, and deepest level. It embraces all the aspects of life with tenderness and understanding, bringing harmony and balance to relationships, communities, and the world. And I always think also that it comes together when we add the divine masculine aspect to it. I didn't talk much about it because it was really focused, focused on the divine feminine, but the divine feminine gets activated by the deep divine masculine and that's, um, that's a proven fact. So, even myself, I couldn't have become a true queen I am without my connection to my deep uh, divine masculine as well, my uh, now current husband. My husband has created nurturing and safe environment for me to really be, enjoy, make that inner queen emerge from me. So. They go hand in hand, and unconditional love is the best when there is polarity. So, it's definitely worth looking into that. So, another, I mentioned it shortly, but um, what's really, really cool is the ability of the animals to show us unconditional love. So, people who have had animals probably know that experience and I want to share with you one amazing experience I had in Kauai. I went to Kauai, one of the other Hawaiian islands if you don't know. Many people think Kauai is just one big island, it's actually uh, several islands. Uh, first time I went to Kauai was a disaster um, because I <laughs> connected to wrong uh, people there. but. Um, so I wanted to uh, change that memory and experience. So I was like, okay, I'm ready to go and reset my kawaii experience. And that's what I did. So I got to go to a beautiful experience with the horseback riding. And as I was doing that, I was sitting on the horse it was so funny, the horse name was the same as the dog's name of my friends who I just like visited a couple of weeks before in Colorado. So it's like, what are the odds, right? And um, I really, really enjoyed that experience as I was on top of the beautiful horse. It's very, very windy. I suddenly started to feel very vulnerable and I was thinking like I wonder why and I started to talk to the horse and the horse was telling me Crystal you were asking about this uh, unconditional love experience and this is how it is so as you are sitting on the horse, your legs are spreaded and if you are a woman, you are opening up your vulnerability center, your yoni, your temple. And most women have uh, wounds with that connected. So, and even though I have been healing quite a while, I still had quite a ways to go. So. So I'm sitting on top of this horse and uh, seeing all the beautiful kawaii nature, the valleys, the 
mountains, the greenness, the lush uh, nature. And I start to feel like choking up, like tears running down my cheeks. And uh, I start to talk to the horse. It's like, what's going on? And he's like, you were asking about, you know, unconditional love and vulnerability. Here it is. I love you unconditionally as you are. Everything you are and everything you are not. And that was another experience of unconditional love. It was just like unbelievable to experience that. So powerful. And as I was now totally open on my heart level as well, it was very, very interesting what happened next. So after that, I wanted to go to this very special spot where the Hawaiian legend says that uh, the, the local uh, hula dancers uh, got initiated. So, so uh, someone local showed me where that was so I was able to find it and uh, as I found it and I knew that I, I can go back there on my own and I started to drive back there and it was raining and the raindrops were so big it almost looked like there was a rainbow in each rain drop because the sun was shining through them as well and it was like unbelievable and then of course the beautiful rainbow um, was created as well before that um, sacred place there is also a little cave by the road so I stopped there to go to the cave and do my little ritual Estonian song so I was singing that to give a bit a little bit like tanks and you know initiate that beautiful process and uh, that was so beautiful because it was also echoing so I could you know sing and echo and uh, close my eyes and when I opened my eyes I could see the beautiful cave and the blue color water in one end and when I turned around there was like 20 people clapping because they just got the unbelievable concert in Estonian not knowing even what I was singing I was very special I've been singing that song in so many languages all over the world so and unconditional love can uh, heal anything. It can uh, turn everything around in a good way. So, yeah. So, I hope this was inspiring. Think of um, your life. When in your life have you felt that unconditional love has helped you to heal, feel more compassionate, enjoy life more, and also help your deep divine feminine to get more connected and also 